Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Rajnikanth and today's video will gonna discuss filter operation in streams API. Right? So if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it. So you can see that uh, subscribe button is there. You can subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get all the notification from my end. So you'll not miss any video from my side, right? So ultimately you will be get benefited out of it. So let's uh, get started. So first let me explain you what we're gonna discuss, right? So first what is a filter in stream and why we use then old school style filtering uh, like in for each loop or any uh, iterator or what you can say it's for simple for loop in that how we can uh, going to iterate that one or filtering that one and coming into that uh, new thing with using lambdas and streams how we'll filter those things we'll see some difference then that third one is it's very important it's a and or a negate in filters right so how you will apply some end operator or operator or any negate in filters so this is very important i'll gonna show you in uh using predicate how we can uh, gonna achieve this in simple by using end operator and by using predicate the, uh, this is very important and something very interesting also then coming into last we'll see some real time use cases where we'll gonna use and I will give some scenario based uh, uh, scenario based example that, that you can even explain in your project in your project also you can fit that one right so do watch this video completely to get a clear picture right so let's get started uh, now what is a filter and say it's a simple term no filter so this simply indicating is a filtering something right so while you are making a tea we are filtering that uh, what we can say this is a chai patti or it's a tea powder we are filtering that one after completion of that one right so this is a filter right so filter will extract those filtered elements right so this filter is a operation in stream which will filter elements based on some condition right so again i am repeating so filter is a operation on stream which will filter elements based on some condition right now coming into next why should we use filter right in your application in our program lots of time we want to extract some data out of the collection or some uh, any collection we are we are extracting some data based on some condition so that time we use filters right then now uh, old school style filtering and streams filtering right so let's quickly jump into the coding and i will show you in imperative style and new style of functional implementation right so let's uh, open my intellij idea so already i have written some code to reduce the time uh, because here time constraint is there if the video is lengthy then people will not so interested to watch so here you can see he, what i am doing here it says simple stream filter class and he, here simply main method is there we, we all are familiar with main method right so here i am creating a list of integer and list dot of it's a java 9 feature to create a list and it's a completely immutable list already i have Upload a video regarding what is RS dot list or list dot of different kinds of things. So you can check my previous video and get a clear picture about these things. So here I have created that list. Then what I am what exactly I am doing here? So after creating this list, I am iterating that list. And if the number is greater than forty, if the number is greater than forty, then I am storing uh, those numbers into some another list, right? So that's why I have created an another list. It's a filtered list and i am iterating those list and taking those numbers and checking if if condition if the number is greater than 40 then put into that filtered list right and I, again at the end i am printing it so now let's see run and we'll see the output anyway it will work from long time we are gonna, we are using this uh, thing so you can see 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 it's printing so it's greater than 40 so it will not include 40 it's 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, it's printing, right? So now let's see in streams and using lambda and filters, how we can achieve this one, right? So it's pretty simple. First, let me tell you 
that stream that stream right the stream only we can apply on collection collection type right list set kind of things you cannot apply directly on map list dot int list dot okay sorry i am outside of that main method no inside the main method we need to do simply that list here it's a list maybe it's a set any other uh, collection type then on top of that one you can call stream method so stream method will return a stream you, if you see here it's returning a stream of integer right it's a sequence of integer it's returning then on top of that stream we can apply filter operation so lots of methods are there you can see collect collect filter for each all match any match count distinct lots of methods are there but currently in our scenario we should go for filter right so this filter will take a predicate if you see here let me go to this filter this filter will take a predicate so this predicate is a functional interface let me go to this predicate this predicate is a, you can see it's a functional interface and it's have lots of method it's a test one method is there and end end method is there negate is there or is there right so let's implement this uh, predicate with some lambda right so what we can say suppose number will receive and lambda symbol this one then what will check number is greater than 40 right this indicates filter those elements which are which are greater than 40 right so this is the condition so based on this condition it will return true or false if the number is greater than 40 it will return true else it will return false so based on that condition it will filter those elements right once it's got filtered then what we will do we will collect those elements right another method is the collect us dot to list and we will put a semicolon right so what exactly will happen here it will filter those elements which are greater than 40 and those elements it will collect and it will create an another list right so it will not modify the existing list it will create an another list so let me uh, take this list in another variable integer and here we can say stream filtered result okay i have stored those things and now let's print this one and we'll gonna see whether it's working or not then we'll compare what exactly our difference i mean how we'll do okay so let's print this one now let's run this program and we'll gonna see so let me comment this entire thing so for your better understanding let me clear the console okay it should be stream no it's a typo error sometimes it will happen no worries run stream filtered you can see 50 60 70 80 90 100 we are achieving right so this is very ease of reading you can see it's very simple so if you suppose someone saw this code so he need to get he need to take time to understand what exactly happening here the previous snippet if you see here first it will he will say okay we have a list then we are creating some another list we don't know why we are creating then we are iterating then if condition is there we are checking then we are storing into that add, storing into that another list right so here at least to understand the code you need to take some time right but here if you see it's a pretty simple if you see here list applying on streams and if you see here filter it's a pretty simple and you can easily identify yes we are doing some filtering operations so what is the filtering operation if the number is greater than 40 
then after that one what we are doing here we are collecting those elements right we are collecting those elements and we are converting into some list it's a pretty simple and easily understood by any of your uh, colleague can understand this code it's pretty simple right so this is that way you can apply filter so again let's see suppose you want to if you want to use multiple filters so you want it's a number is greater than 40 and it should be less than 80 right so maybe you are applying one more filter filter number sorry number and number is less than 80 right and here i am putting that collect that to list pretty simple let me again run this snippet and if you see here 50 60 70 it's applying two filters right number is greater than 40 this includes 50 50 60 70 80 90 100 but again i am filtering with number is less than 80 right so this is a pretty simple as much as filter you want you can provide and but in imperative style means again you need to put some conditions no and 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 number is less than sorry number is less than ad right here you need to understand how you can apply those condition and those stuffs it's very clumsy right so this is a very good feature you can use let me comment that one so this is one way you can use multiple filters uh, multiple fil multiple filters now let's see uh, that one and or negate in filters how we'll do and or and or and negate in this filter right let me remove this entire imperative style so how you will apply those end conditions right so instead of multiple filters you can apply end condition directly here as well uh, and where is that end number another one lambda sorry okay you, you are thinking that this way we can do right but this is not possible why means if you see here this filter this filter will take a predicate predicate is a functional interface right so here we are passing some two functional interfaces so this is this is not gonna work so how we'll do this one generally you will think that in this way right but that's not this is there but in another way i will gonna explain how we'll do that one but if you if you want to do in normal way how we'll do say in that lambda itself you need to check if the number is then here you need to do some manual calculation kind of thing like uh, what i can say sorry number okay, sorry if number is greater than number is greater than 40 and then number is uh, less than 80 then return true Okay, why it's crying? I don't know. Is that a semicolon? No, it's not semicolon. Okay, let me control Alt L. Let me see why it's crying. Missing return statement. Okay, okay, sorry. Mm, by default, again, it's overhead. I mean, we should not do like this. B O O L E N Boolean. Uh, filter equal to false 
this is a overhead you know then here let me assign this one to true and at the end I need to at the end I need to return that boolean value no okay cool so just see where I too got confused here so this is a overhead right so then this is that no use of lambda like this if you are doing like some if else condition and some snippet of code you are doing so it's a completely overhead so this is that way how we can do some end operation this is one way then uh, an another easy way i will gonna explain let me uh, run this one run and we're gonna see 50 60 17 it's pretty good it's coming the output so what exactly i am doing here let me explain you again because maybe i got confused you so here i am filtering the streams i am, I am passing some lambda taking the number and here the, in that lambda is, a, is the body of that lambda and what we are doing here first i am taking a boolean filter equal to false then i am checking in the if condition if the number is greater than 40 and the number is less than 80 then i am making the filter equal to true and at the end i am returning that filter so based on the condition it will return either true and false then after that one we are collecting those values and we are printing right so this is a another way how we can do end operation and exactly like this here also the same or operation also can you can do where is that or operation in that or operation also also you can do either number is greater than 40 or some valid condition will do our number is less than 80 it will print all the numbers so let me run this one it will print all those numbers right it's our condition also you can do right like this but this is a bit overhead so how you will uh, that other way we can do let me explain you that one right so for that one we cannot directly pass those two lambdas right already uh, in the first case already I show you that directly lambda we can we cannot pass two lambdas and we will put some end operation right so that one for that one in in filled sorry in predicate some end method is there and, and we should call that end method so how we'll call let me explain you so here i am creating some predicate integer and what we can say some filter f i l t e yeah, filter one I, I mean you should not take like this filter one filter two but i'm i'm taking that one so let me create create a lambda number number greater than 40 symbol and again i am let me create another another uh, predicate filter to always you should take some valid name you should not take filter one filter two even if even if in in project also sometimes <laughs> sometimes some testing purpose will take the filter one filter two but uh, while committing the code will miss those things and while code review will get a scolding from other people as well some architect or some who is reviewing that code some people will get some scolding or if why we are using this uh, is take some valid name right so always you should take uh that one i mean correct uh, variable name right so number less than ad right so here i am taking two filter right filters are predicate nothing but nothing uh nothing more so i am taking two filter and how we'll fit these filters in that uh, filter operation right so let's see how we can do right so what you can do simple pass one filter here condition then dot end and here you can pass this filter to right so just see how pretty simple than previous one in previous one you need to in that lambda itself we will do some if else condition and here and there right so it's a pretty confusing right now see how how cool and how looks good this one right and let's see we are getting those outputs or not 
we are getting the output 5670 it's pretty good right so this is that another way how we can do end operator right so instead of doing those existing things right like, uh, writing in that lambda if else condition this is always preferable to do like this right exactly same or also how we can do you can instead of end you can provide or right same let me run this program it will print all those elements you can see 20 30 40 and all those elements it's printing right so like this you can put and and or now let's see how you can do negate negate means it's the opposite one right so let me remove this or condition so negate means here i am doing greater than 40 right greater than 40 means is say including 50 60 70 80 90 100 right it will print but if i do a negate on this filter what it will do it will reverse means that opposite of that one suppose it's a greater than 40 it's counting means now it will count to less than 40 right so let's do a negate dot negate what it will print instead of uh, this filter one what it's a greater than 40 right greater than 40 is negate means less than 40 so it will print 20 and 30 let's see it's a 20 30 and 40 it's printing right so it's a pretty uh, cool and we got that uh, entire thing filter with uh, and and or and negate that every two these th three things we got now let's see some real time use cases this is a time where you can say in interview that yes i am doing these things you cannot say like this right we have a list of 20 30 40 in the project and we are doing some less than four uh, greater than 40 and less than 80 if you say like this he'll he'll say go away right so you need to explain a scenario based conditions where you are applied those filters now let me explain you some scenario and we'll quickly develop some program based on that one right so here let me explain you one real time scenario right so the this is particularly for experienced person and whoever want to explain the project in a better way right this is a completely scenario it will take some time so please bear with me okay so like in india in us we have some system where people will get some benefits right so backward people will get some benefits right so poor and poor people will get some benefits from the government right so in in india it's a called uh, central government but in us those things are called federal government right federal so in india that's called uh, what we call that one central central government and state government we have no exactly like this in us those things called federal this terminology you should you should tell while in uh, interview and the state is the same as state we call those things also right so in uh, us what ha what happening people will get some benefits right some federal government benefits they will get right if you are some poor people and you have you have low income then you will get some either health benefit or monetary benefit you will get either health or monetary benefit you will get monetary benefit okay spelling i don't know monetary benefit you will get right so so this example i am fitting here okay so here that object will be there uh, family object right and this family includes what it includes mm, total number of number of members will not take much attributes but in real time a lot of attributes will be there number of members and their annual income total annual income annual income of that family right so lot of guys applied those forms right to get those benefits 
number of members and annual income is there now you retrieved all those all those data and you want to filter some condition if the number of members in that number of members in that family is greater than 5 or 6 and their income is annual income is less than uh, less than some dollar uh, let's say um, 50 dollar is sorry annual income right so let's say indian currency it's a, it's a pretty it's, it's a bit confusing if you will take some dollar let's say their annual income is less than uh, some 20000 right so or 30000 whatever their sal sorry uh, their total members are 6 and their annual salary is 30 total member is 6 and annual uh, salary is less than 30 then we'll then only we'll choose those families and we'll give those benefits right so hope you got this uh, scenario right in in us we do have some different kind of um, what you can say benefits so to identify those uh, uh, appropriate family right so some conditions are there if that families total member count is greater than six and their uh, annual income is less than 30,000 then we should consider those families right so let me explain you in that uh, program how we'll do that one right so this i uh, hope you got this scenario then let's uh, write some program quickly so we'll take a uh, class family class java class family let me take uh, two attributes uh, int family member total family members f a m i l y m e m b family members and int uh, a double will take d o u b l e double annual income annual income okay so we have done let's do some getter setters what is that one insert 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 generate sorry getters getters and setters okay let's click both the things it's getter setters done uh, now let's uh, create a constructor for this one what is that one generate constructor okay both the attribute you want okay cool so now let's create a list of let me create a uh, another class where we'll test mm, filter real time test let me take a main method here what we'll take list of family f a m i l y f a m i l i yes actually this currently here we are preparing some data but uh, during that uh, real time you will get those things from database right so what i'll do new array list new array list and here we go now let's create multiple objects family object family fmi family one equal to new family and here let me uh, members three and some forty thousand amounts sorry it will not take comma let's create multiple families and then we'll add those families to that list and we'll do those filters no okay let me copy paste multiple families then we'll add bear with me it will take some time no worries two three four five six seven oh, let's do let's take one more what is our criteria so it should be greater than six member right so let's take some five let's take uh, seven and less than 20 
let's take eight and it should be 25 let's take 7 and again it says some 40,000 it will not eligible and then some 10 40,000 and 10 some 28,000 and let's uh, let's take 3 and it's a 40,000 it's family 8 right now let's add those families to those list dot add family one it's overhead i know it will take some time but uh, what i can do i cannot do anything right we should write those codes family two okay here copy paste let me copy this thing and again let me paste 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 one two three year 4, year 5, year 6, year 7, year 8. Okay, cool. Now that uh, list is ready. Now let's see a list dot stream first you want. Then what do you want? Filter. So whatever those elements or, or data we got from database, we need to filter, right? So here that list, uh, the list is that element i mean list is that one but real time will get from database so that list will filter so what is the criteria so family let me take one lambda so first let's uh, do a simple one if family dot get get total family members right if total family members is greater than greater than six right so what we are doing here if family members are greater than six then we are considering and here collect so collectors dot to list here we go and semicolon here we can put a list of family let me collect that one filter equal to that one once we have done let me we have so fast initially we are doing if the family numbers total family numbers is family members are greater than six then we are considering for eligible eligible for making eligible to any uh, benefits so let me take this filter and now now let's print that one right so here a uh, for is there and let me plus that family and here system dot okay so here uh, multiple things will print gonna will gonna please print so we should take this one and system dot out dot print ln and here we'll take those families right after getting those annual total members and annual income Okay, I have not taken those things private, it seems. Okay. Okay, actually we should take private these things. I forgot to take, but it's it's fine. We should not take like this, right? Encapsulation. I forgot that one, but we need to take that one. If you want, I can modify, but again, it will take some time. But let me do like this. Uh, so let me put some stars so that we can uh, differentiate those objects right so let me explain you again what i have done here so i have created a, a list of families empty list then i am creating some uh, family members with the family objects then i am putting those family ob objects in that list then initially i am doing some filter operation here filter and in that filter i am passing some lambda and in that lambda i am checking if that families total family members as greater than six then collect those uh, family objects and create an, another list with filtered the name with filter and here again i am uh, iterating uh, that uh, filtered list and i am printing those objects right now let's see what are those objects it will uh, come so greater than six means seven eight 
greater than six means this th this will come, seven will come, eight will come, again seven will come, ten will come, this ten will come, right? Three, five, and three it will not print. So let's see. Let me run this one. Okay, let me show you here. You can see seven is coming, eight is coming, again seven is coming, and ten is coming, right? So this is a simple scenario based example so where you can explain this in a good way in your project and uh, you'll get a big benefit out of it right so hope you got this entire thing uh, you, i mean if you want we can put some multiple and and or operator using already have explained right you can do by yourself and definitely you can practice that one right earlier i told right uh, this example where, where is the that one how we can apply and condition and or negate so i have given these things to you you can practice by using and or and negate of this real time scenario and if you have any doubt and you are any facing any challenges you can post a comment and you can directly reach out to me and i am always happy to help you all people right so hope you got that entire uh thing what is filter and different permutation combination of filter so if this video is helpful to people please do like share and do like share and a comment and definitely i will appreciate you to provide a comment so that i will i will uh, happy and i will think that yes pe yes people are getting it out so definitely you should put a comment so it will give me some energy to to create some some more content like this right and last but not the least please if this video is really helpful, then only subscribe my channel, else no need to subscribe, okay? So, thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye.